Hi guys, and welcome to Wimborne Boxing Club's channel. If this is the first time that we're meeting, I'd like to say welcome. And just to let you know that we bring you virtual pad workouts, boxing workouts, boxing tutorials, as well as strength and conditioning tutorials as well. So if you like the sound of that, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, and you'll be notified every single time we post a video. Right then, let's jump into today's workout. So today we are gonna look at the how and the why we shadow box. But just before we do jump into that tutorial, check out the link in the comments box below and you can find our Learn to Box program as well as our audio shadow boxing program, which will give you a great workout at home and will help to learn or help you to learn the basic fundamentals of boxing. Link in the description. But let's jump into today. Okay, so today we're like I say we're gonna look at the why and how we shadow box. Now, every gym across the country will probably shadow box. And what we need to understand is the reason behind shadow boxing. Now, let's say if I asked you right now, why do you shadow box? One of two answers will be to warm up. The second answer might be to improve technique. And we may get a third answer, which is probably the worst of the lot, I don't know, I do it because I'm told to. So the idea of today's video is to tell you exactly why and exactly how to shadow box effectively. So why do we shadow box? Yes, we can use it for a warm up. Um, so let's concentrate on that side of it first. So when we ask people to shadow box, would you say we normally see this, don't we? Yeah, happy with that? That's probably what we normally see. So if we stopped that person with shadow box and said, look, why? What, what are you doing there while I'm trying to warm up? I reckon that person, if they're fairly fit, could probably do that for easily two minute rounds, with then a 30 second rest to do again and again and again. Um, what they're not doing is they're not actually pushing themselves. Shadow boxing can be used as a, fit of a fitness warm up. So here's the first thing that I think you should be doing if you're using shadow boxing as a warm up. Number one, is to change the pace. So how does that look? So we're now in shadow boxing, bah, bah, nice steady pace, bah, bah, and then we up it. Okay, maybe we up it for, I don't know, 10 seconds, 10 seconds fast work, and then we slow it back down. So if you're at home doing this by yourself, maybe you gotta use your own sort of cues, and you might say 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Now if you're doing that effectively, you might only want to do it for a minute or 90 seconds, a bit of a breather, and then repeat. If you're doing it for two minutes, just be wary that you do put in that 100% effort on the pace. So now actually, what we're getting from that shadow box, the heart rate's increasing, we are warming up, and we're getting a little bit of fitness from it, and it is transferable into what would probably happen in the ring. Let me guess, those who've had bounce or sparred, you're not just in there, same pace, are you? It never works like that. You change the pace, you pick it up, you slow it down, don't you? So, with your shadow boxing, I want you to do exactly the same. Now, number two, technique. <clears throat> yeah, you can use shadow boxing for technique. I'd say more for understanding tactics um, and to, um, to understand how you deploy certain tactics rather than technique. Because to me, technique, it can't really be learned through shadow boxing. It generally can't be learned through pads unless you're doing um, pad work correctly, shall we say. Because, well, shadow boxing, if I'm learning the slip, bam, bam, yeah, perfect, isn't it? One, two, yeah, slip, throw the rear end, that's great. But what I'm not doing is I'm not taking into, into consideration that if I'm in a bout, that I might be moving back and the shot come in, I have to slip. I might be slightly off balance and I've got to slip. So the thing with shadow boxing is, is it teaches you all the correct technique under no pressure. So yeah, maybe at the start of uh, your starting boxing journey, just to learn the slipping and the pullbacks, great. But as you progress, does it really help with technique? Not so much. Does it help against tactics? So it certainly gets you thinking about tactics. And what do I mean by tactics? Well, let's say I'm now shadow boxing and I've got to think about my opponent. Shadow boxing is all about using your imagination, thinking about what your opponent could be doing and how they will react to what you've just done. So let's now say, right, um, okay, you're now gonna be boxing someone that is taller than you. Uh, how are you gonna deal with that? Go. 
So now I'm thinking, right, someone's taller than me, they're gonna have long arms, so I'm gonna have to make a miss and step in, let's be back a bit. So I'm gonna have to make a miss, walk, step in, work my bent arm shot, and then exit out. This is not so much of a fitness element now, and it's not so much of a warm up anymore, it's definitely not a warm up. This is now thinking about tactics. You could say you've got someone aggressive. Now, I've got loads of room here, but if I've got someone aggressive, that means I'm going to be generally working off the back foot and then move using my angles, thinking about where the ropes might be if you're not in a ring. So I'm now thinking off the back foot. Tactically, I might want to flip that around and say, actually, he's coming forward or she's coming forward. Let me put the pressure back on them. So now I might actually be looking to come forward, hands up high, getting on the inside and working. It could be the opposite, it could be someone short and you decide to box long. So now my shadow boxing looks more um, off, the, uh, off, the, well, off the back foot or the front foot. But again, long shots, keeping it all long, yeah? And now, um, looking, it's still to move left and right, but everything's nice and long. I might decide to take the fight to them. So I come forward with my long shots. They might suddenly get on the inside and I'll use my head thing, what am I gonna do? So I might use my short little shot, boom, and then look to move back to long again. So now I'm thinking, if I'm thinking, I'm learning. All right, so it's taking it away from this, to so where you probably you, know, you look around, to actually thinking about, oh, there's a long, there's a short opponent who's aggressive, boom, I'm gonna move, bah, bah. I'm gonna move, come forwards, take the fight back to them, bah, bah, bah. All right, I'm thinking. And if my coach wants to stop me and say, what and why, I can tell them what I'm doing, I can tell them what I'm doing. But I hope that has uh, helped. Remember, there's um, some Learn to Box videos in the comments box, or there is my Learn to Box program in the comments box, as well as a great audio program. All of that you can do from home. So if you're locked down, I, 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 it's unfortunate and hard to hear, but why don't you make it a, a positive time, a more positive time, and learn a new sport and get a little bit fitter. Thanks very much. Don't leave. Check out one of my other videos. But before you go anywhere, subscribe to my channel. Guys, thanks for watching, see you soon.